What's up, guys? Today, that was a weird hand motion. I don't know what that is, but anyways, today we're gonna be playing this new. Well, it's not Resonation. We're gonna be playing Resonation. We're gonna do this new challenge I thought of. And I'm calling it the RNC, the Random, the Random Nation Challenge. So basically, you choose a random country. So we got Bhutan. Okay. Bhutan, you have Bhutan. So you basically choose a random country, and unless that's like a tiny island nation, like Kiribati, that was perfectly, that was like perfect. Like a tiny like, random island nation, like Kiribati or Trinidad and Tobago. Why did that keep on happening? That's perfect. It was perfectly aligned with. That wasn't even supposed to happen. Okay, but I'm, anyways, I'm also gonna get a random nation like that we're not going to we're going to keep that nation so let's just do it again all right we got the gambia great we got the literally only borders one other country which is senegal so and we only have one two we have five cities all right so i chose this random nation and we are going to do this random nation now so yeah so basically what the goal here is we have to at least we're gonna have to at least ex try to expand our nation, like, at least. Try to expand maybe north, south, west, I don't know. Probably not west, because there's not really much west to go to. I mean, unless we're gonna go to the Americas. Why not, though? Probably gonna stay on our own home continent, because, you know, Europe's kind of scary. But anyways, um, we are going to... Uh, let's just dive into this, I guess. So, the Gambia's military is 20,000 troops. I mean, it's kind of expected because it has like five cities. And we really can't expand that much because the problem is is our tax, our economy is not very much because, you know, we only have five cities. So if we make more troops, we're, go we're going to like go to fish it. So hold on. Let's... So I'm going to make 30,000 troops right now and I'm going to wait for them to make... And since the economy is so small, it'll make 10, it's 10,000, so it's not going to get deficient just yet. But we are going to need reinforcements. And the military upkeep does go up when you're healing or when you're, like, moving around. So, yeah, we have like, an economy of $2,000. That, that is great. Alright, so, what you want to do at this point is you want to make some policies. So, taxing, this is for stability. Sacrificing your tax income for stability. So if I need more stability, I would do this, but I don't yet. Yeah, I don't trust yet. So yeah, the tax income. So this basically is t more tax, but you know this thing doesn't go up as much. So you can't get as much of a military as fast. Um, we're gonna do this now, I guess. So you just look for taxing incomes. Like the most, the best part. But the best way to get more tax is just for getting more cities. So, one of my main targets right now would be Senegal, probably, since it's the only country I border. Yeah, it has quite a bit of cities compared to me. So, let's do that. Let's, and then this city, you actually want to look at the... I like to look at the cities that are, like, major, like, have... Or, like, the capitals, or have over a million population. Um, so, you look at here, the car... I just know the capital of Senegal. So the tax is 240000 That's like double our actual economy right now. And then all these other cities, of course, are going to have a bit of tax as well. Not as much since, you know, they're like not as major cities. So, yeah, so we're going to do... Alright. We're going to unite these troops. We basically are just following the Gambia River. That's what this entire chunk of land is. But soon we're not going to since did I do it yet? Okay, no, I didn't. So we need to declare war on Senegal or justify the war goal. So you go here, justify conquest, justify war. You've seen the past. I'm pretty sure you've seen the past two videos where I've done this, so you probably know the drill by now. If you're not, if if you're just like just tuning in now, you, there's like um two other Rise of Nations videos that you can watch. Um, it's just you know how the game works. So, and this, is, this isn't going to be the only episode. You probably see on the title of the video, episode one, episode one. 
there's gonna be more than one episode. We might actually make this. I'm probably gonna make this actually like a series on YouTube, not where you know a normal series where you just have one video of you expanding and then another day of the same exact country. We're gonna do different countries each time. So one time I was doing this before camera, and I just decided now to get it like on YouTube. I chose Togo, and I couldn't expand that much since I had to go someplace with my dad. But you now probably my first like goal would be to get Benin. No one has you know that many cities. So yeah. So I guess we got Togo then, and then there's another time where I got Mali. I didn't like play as much though as it. What are the other countries that I got? I got Sri Lanka the first time I did it. And I got the Maldives. I was trying to form an empire with the Maldives and Malaysia. So I got the Maldives, and then I didn't really have any else to expand. It's just India's here. Luckily, India got an alliance with me when he was still online. Oh, well, there's Tentacle. So then I went over to Qatar. I was going to get Bahrain, but I never got Bahrain. There is this Namibia guy to this country down here. He expanded, like... All the way, like, past here. And then he, uh, like, when he took over, there was a giant country over here, too. And then he was like, Sri Lanka, why are you here? And I'm like, what else, where else do I go? I'm trying to colonize stuff. And he was like, you know, I'm trying to take over the entire world. Or he, he didn't say that exactly, but he was going to take over a lot of the stuff. And he said possibly South America, too. So he said that he might need to colonize me. So then I went down this way to get through UAE, the Oman, and Yemen. And then I got, this was all an empire, and it had 180,000 troops. Uh, I had about 200,000. So yeah, that was a big challenge, but I'm, just, I'm gonna go over here. You guys probably don't care. It's... So these are all gonna be 30-minute episodes, like, normally. War with Senegal. This might not go very well, I feel like, since we're just a tiny little country, our ranking isn't very high. Oh, let's, let's just hope for the best. Let's get some of these Senegalese cities. Kolda has been captured. Now these troops are going like, to come after me. Because I just took their city. They're going to try to conquer it back. Alright. Taking that city. The Guan Shore has been captured. Okay. Oh, they got my city back. That sucks. Hey, but at least my uh, area is last thicker now. I'm border Guinea Bissau. I'm almost, I almost border Guinea. Oh wow, this is actually going kind of well. But... Alright, I'm sorry, I had some technical difficulties with um, stuff from the outside. Somebody would just, you know, I don't know. But, anyways, we won the war against the Senegalese troops, and we're also deficient, so that's a mail. Yay, I lost all my money, even though I'm deficient. Let me click on it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, oh, it's because of the reinforcements. They give us reinforcements when we're in a war, I guess. It's weird, it makes me deficient, and now I'm, my economy sucks. It's fine, once we get Senegal, and once we get this city, we'll be good. We'll have, this is 2.7 million, that's, that's like double our population already. Or actually more than double, like, quadruple. So yeah, this city is... Very big, so it's gonna have a lot of tax. 249,000, 250,000 basically. It's not that far away from it. Alright, but my land looks all chunky now, and I like this. <clears throat> I'm like the Gambia River goes past the Gambia, and I feel like I'm expanding it now. It goes into Mali and stuff. I, I don't know, I, I don't know that much about the Gambia River. I just know that it's in the Gambia and probably much like Senegal too. So yeah, <clears throat> I don't know if I want to expand down south to these southern countries, or if I want to get the big weak countries, like Mauritania. Mauritania is pretty weak, and it's also pretty big, but that's, it's weak just because it's a bunch of desert. So, <clears throat> yeah. I don't know, I'll play it by here, I'm just gonna wait until Senegal's done, and then I'll have this big plot of land. We're not fishing anymore, I guess the reinforcements are gone. The reinforcement's gonna be when you heal, like, I don't know. You have a much higher military, you probably. You know, the reason why, or I don't know. The reason why we have such a better economy right now is just because we don't have any more, as much military upkeep, since all this is down, it's not as much, there's not as many troops. So it's gonna be a lot higher, we're gonna have a lot more money now. But once this regenerates, I'll probably be deficient again. 
Unless we, uh, we're gonna do the thing and we're gonna get all these cities eventually. Once the unrest goes away. Which is the little, um, yellow rhombuses or squares or rectangles. It's all three. But anyways, yeah, we have left the capital for last. I don't know, I don't really know why. My troops decided to do that. So now we have 28,000 troops for 2.7 million country. Oh, that's fine. Oh, oh, I think we'll think be fine. We'll be alright. Alright, it looks like... Okay, we have the little symbol thing. I don't know what that means. And we're gonna be sitting here for a while, so it's gonna be... They're gonna also be healing, eventually. They have the little shovel thing symbol. Oh, well, he's... Here now. I don't know why, but he likes to join my... In the, rain, in the middle of my all my videos, like... It, it is his private server. He owns this. He spends money on this every month or week, I don't know. I'm doing a new challenge. Called the RNC challenge. Alright, so... Random Nation Challenge. Alright, I've gotten Stetical. We got the car. We have 10,000 troops now. Alright, I don't know why I'm laughing at that. That's not very good. It's for the videos. Alright, so... And cities, we have to... I'm just going to do clear selection because I always get all of these cities. Alright, now a big thick Gambia that is in the outline of Senegal. My capital is a city with 44. Why is my city, why is my capital Rakama? It has 200,000, it only has 44,000. Actually, a better question is why isn't my capital the car? No, nah, actually, that would. That makes sense, serious. It was just random. I'm starting a series today. Oh, okay, okay. So, I think my next target is obviously going to be getting Bissau or Cabo Verde. Cabo Verde is just an island. I don't really want islands yet. Um, sure, I guess. Hire them. Alright, then let's get some more stability, I guess. Um, our economy is nice. Hey, we're not even in debt now. We have, and we have reinforcements, too. Um, uh, actually, we're probably being in debt soon now. Alright, well, it's okay. We have a ton more cities that we can gain tax off of. Does that go instantly or does it not? Oh, well, I don't think it does. What is the tax now? Oh, now I'm going to fish it. That was thanks a lot. So tax now. For some reason, it goes down. I don't know why it goes down so much. Um, and my tax things are so, are so heavy. We, do, we are going to have to get an ideology eventually. I'm being the smallest country in Africa. I am the smallest country in the actual African continent. Funny thing is that I actually did a research project on this. On the Gambia. Or the Gam It's called Gambia, but the official name is actually the Gambia. Or the Gam I thought I called it the Gambia, I don't know why. But it's the Gambia. So Guinea Bissau actually has quite a bit of cities. That'd be pretty good. I'm just gonna declare more. I feel like I feel like if I have fifty thousand troops and I'm with like, I'm much bigger than them, then I feel like we will be fine. So, I like Djibouti is also up there, one of the smallest on the African continent. But yeah, alright. So, we're going to get, so we're just waiting, I don't really know. I'm just going to wait 75 days, about like 20 seconds probably, I don't know how many days are per second. So we decided to play as a one-city country, Seychelles. If anyone wanted to declare a war on it, it literally only take 25 days. Just under a month. Then we can become affordable soon. You think so? What are the formables um, for my country? Alright, there's Mali, Sierra Leone, Guinea-Bissau. Okay, so I'm kind of doing this on accident. So, I need Guinea-Bissau, 
skinny. Sierra Leone, Mali, not Liberia. I don't think Liberia's ever been colonized, actually. And then Cote d'Ivoire, so Ivory Coast. But it's called Cote d'Ivoire, I guess. And the Gold Coast, I'm probably not going to do the Gold Coast. Just because. Actually, I don't really see why. I might do the Gold Coast. I, th I might actually already have the Gold Coast. Do I have the Gold Coast? I'm not sure. Let's see. Completed. I do not have the Gold Coast. I think I once tried to do the Gold Coast, but it didn't work. Alright, well, anyways, you have our guinea Bissau now. I'm gonna do the Songhai Empire, just because. Alright. Alright, we are now at war with guinea Bissau, so let's capture all. That might not have been a bad idea. I might accidentally go on. Oh, yeah, we're just like. We're fighting now. I remember Jesus, we're standing on water. Okay, um. I'm gonna answer all the mail, too. Or else it will just answer itself. Oh, yeah, I'm in debt. That's fun. I'm in debt, and I'm, well, I'm probably about to be deficient, too, now. The reinforcement's coming. I need to have a better economy. Oh, jeez. I, I don't know why I did that. They just stole my money, and now I'm in debt. Oh, and my, oh, I did not know that took the stability down. Okay, we gotta, all right, um, that's not very good. I kind of made a very bad decision. And we're fighting me to fish it now. Why is that have your stability go down so much? Okay, we're actually in big trouble now. I need an ideology that gets taxed. Oh, screw it. We need liberalism. Liberalism. Okay, uh, tax income plus 40. That'll make our economy better. Are we not liberalism? Can I have enough political power? Oh my god, we don't. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> it's fine, we're almost done with getting pissed out anyways, so. Let's just get Guinea in this world. Or out of this world, I guess. Alright, well, there's only one Guinea now. It's Guinea. It's just Guinea. There's three Guineas. There's Equatorial Guinea and then Papua New Guinea, but we're not talking about that. Alright, so Guinea Bissau. Bissauian Organization War. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm not in debt anymore. My stability might not be. Oh, yes. Yes, I want some. I need more. Oh. The reinforcements. Thought it was, but it's not anymore. Okay. Spent so much money on the. Oh, jeez, I'm deficient again. Oh my goodness. Okay, our stability is. We saved us. I saved myself. Okay, what is? <clears throat> I'm assuming my economy is gonna be way better with skinny, so it's almost done. September twenty-two second. All right, but it's gone. Deficiency. These are have. Oh, they're not. They're not. not they're, what? I don't know. I don't. I don't have English skills. I forgot how to speak English yesterday. So yeah. I have a big sick Gambia now. I have like a bunch of land. I'm not. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I'm no longer the smallest African country now. Um. No, I'm good. Those always lead to something bad, so I'm not gonna do that. You still have to have their unrest on them. It's, it's very low unrest, but you know, it's still a one rest on it. Tier 1? Where do we have tier 1? Hmm, that's weird. What's the tax on here? It's gonna be probably more tax since it's a capital. But, you know. Oh, actually, that's why. That's probably why it was the capital, because it has. That's probably why I had taxes as this capital. It's, it's silly. I don't, know. I don't know why I said it's silly. I have, like, barely any manpower. I need one of those things like Victory Towers. Getting 20,000 manpower. How many manpowers? Alright. He did today's world rule. It's basically a geography game right here. It's, it gives you an outline of a country, and then you have to guess it. 
It'd be pretty funny if it was the Gambia. If, or it wouldn't be funny. It'd be coincidental. Oh no, you lost our brilliant modifier. Okay, I don't really care. Alright, we've gotten Justify War for Guinea. Alright, I wanna. My end goal is to at least get Guinea now. That's my end goal. We don't really have that much manpower, so we can't really do it if we wanted to. My, my end goal at the very end of this is just to get Guinea. That's my. And then I feel like we expanded this from this tiny little strip of land to this giant. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like my end goal is to do this. It's to get the land. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I want to get a higher enough military to, you know, make more troops so I can create countries in here. My next target is finally Sierra Leone. It has five cities. Actually, that would make it not my next target. I'll probably do Liberia next, actually. Since it has, that has more cities than Sierra Leone. Yeah. Sierra Leone has the same amount of cities as the Gambia. So it's fun. Alright, this is all gone now. So... The unrest is all gone. So, hopefully that actually becomes our economy. I think it, it probably was. What does our economy look like? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. If reinforcements set in, I think we'll be. I think I should actually expand my military now, right? Or right after Guinea. I took out those, uh. Guinean troops pretty easily. If I say so myself. What is my population? I have 5 million people. That's pretty. That's not that bad. It's definitely an expansion. I've, I've gained my. That's like 10 times more people than what I had last time. So I think I'm fine. I have 37 troops at least. That's the capital, so I feel like that's also fine. If I do research, I should probably do some research. Let's go into some research improvements. So research improvements. It's just research in general. Okay, um I guess you just use research power to get more research power. I don't know. I'm just gonna get these. I'm gonna do more. I'm gonna do mobility. I have 63 research power now. That's pretty nice. Alright, we have 21,000 troops. We've gained like about half a guinea probably now. Yeah. Let's see, what is Seychelles doing? It's probably making like tanks or something. Like what is Seychelles doing? So, I feel like currently this RNC, RNC, Random Nation Challenge, I feel like it's going pretty well. I feel like this thing is actually going, like, very, very well. Like, I've, I've gained a lot of land. And the thing with Rise Nations is it takes, like, hours to actually get a whole lot of land. So we can't actually record all of this. But, you know, it's a thing. It's happened. We're getting through. We're getting... Like, you're starting from this one strip of land. <clears throat> I'm getting Guinea. What are you doing? No, I'm clear about the ocean. Alright. Okay, what about my coastline? I'm, I'm curious what my coastline would be. So I have this random Mauritanian city inside of me. I'm trying to find a way to get oil. I don't know, okay. We have 15,000 troops and like four more cities left. So I think we're doing pretty good. I think we're doing fine. Guinea is like destroyed. Their best city is, you know, under my control now. Conakry. So. Yeah, and I forgot zero quarter. I don't. I'm not even gonna try that again. I'm not even gonna try. That is not a very good idea to try. I like trying stuff. All right, this plot of land is about to be gone. Yep. Okay. Now Guinea is now an enclave and also a city state. Guinea is now a city state. Look, 
Look. He's a little. When Seychelles become hot spots, say say Nah, it's because the ocean doesn't really have anywhere to expand to. Polo. Alright, I'm gonna capture it now that he's soft. I really wanna do that and they're just like like all of the Guinea territory, but it's still like a city. I like when that happens. Basically make it a city state. Alright, uh sure I like a little research. And I got another brilliant researcher. Our economy our treasury is not doing so good, but our economy is doing good. Compared to what it was last time, like when I started this, I feel like it's pretty fine now. Gambi and Guinea and annexation wars ended. Let's just get Sierra Leone. Actually, no, let's get Liberia. Let's get the American copycat. The thing is, I think Liberia is actually American. I had a um, classmate in my third and fourth. I don't know. It was in my third grade class. That was from my Liberia. So, yeah, I'm taking her home country now. It's fine. But she's gonna be very happy about this. Sorry. Her name was Alexis. Kind of similar to Alexa, but it's Alexis. Sorry, Alexis. Alright, the truth between us. Um, we have 20... We don't have that much manpower to grow off of. I'm doing a new challenge. Is it just one up in my challenge? He likes to try to be better than me. But yeah. I don't think he tries to, but he is. He is a lot better than me. Bonk. Random Ocean Nation challenge? <laughs> I don't know. I'm probably not gonna... Tiniest nation you can form it as. Okay. So like Malta? Oh, he's gonna I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna do the African Union. He's gonna do African Union. Oh, that's what he's gonna do. I would have to leave then, because I'm gonna conquer this prey entire coast. I might actually make the whole coast. I haven't made it before. Okay, um... I think this is done, probably. Let's check out on it. Yep, it's done baking in the oven. At least try to see if this continent form in the bowl. Am I a joke to you? Alright, anyways, we are going to war with the Liberians. So, yeah. They have only one state. And one, two, three, four. They only have 11 stripes and one star. Yeah, I don't know. Is this continent horrible? But it's significantly smaller. Another Germany. You can get a strong. Give a strong economy. More troops and get the other strong nations. Alright, anyways, we got Monrovia. I like how Iberia is kind of like a rectangle shape. It's not an exact rectangle, obviously, but yeah. Alright, anyways. Okay. 
Liberia is kind of split in half. We've gotten Mon. Okay, I said that. Probably want to get Syria Leo and just like fill in the gap. I think it actually is required for Gold Coast though. South Africa. Alright, um. I forgot this one random Liberian city over here. Voinjama. Voinjama. Wanna trade manpower for money? I can do that. Alright. These fingers are not working. Alright, I think I'm actually just be done, because it's 30 minutes now, and I feel like it's going to be a long time. Only 60,000. Better than nothing. Alright, I'm going to do this. Okay. Alright, so, we have... Taking Liberia, I mean, this is probably not on the rest anymore. Or how much you need? I don't know. I need to get my military. I've always had a struggle with manpower. I think I just have to sit back and chill. How about the manpower expand? My max manpower is 185,000, so. Probably can make another, like, 2,000 troops. With that. Alright, but anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed episode 1 of the RNC Random Nations Challenge. Um, I'm probably gonna do that as a hashtag, too. Hashtag Random Nations Challenge. Um, but anyways. Please leave a like on the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If we can get 100 subscribers by the end of the year, again, I said in the last one I'll do something. I don't really know what I do, but I'll do something. How about I'll do with a top comment on my video, my latest video when I get 100 subscribers says. Probably won't be anything. It'll probably be, like, because nobody comments on my videos anyways. But I'll do the top, I'll do the top comment unless it's, like, you know, really, very severe and I can't. It's like buy you a computer, like I don't have that much money. I'll do something. I probably won't do the top comment, but I'll do something. Uh no, not yet. I need the video. Alright, but anyways, stay safe, stay wonderful, and have a fantastic rest of your day. It's probably posted at like three o'clock because it takes long for my videos to post. But anyways, um bye.